though, let's look at this for a second. This is just really bizarre. This is why I want to name this Kaleidoscope Fractal Poltergeist Planet. All right, welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to start working on our missions, as well as uh, continue stocking up on some supplies that we need. I did uh, quite a bit of organization on uh, the freighter, and I'll show that to you later. But we're coming back to this weird fractal kaleidoscope bizarre planet. The reason I'm coming back down here particular, in particular because it's the only planet in the system that um, doesn't have a hostile environment. I mean, it's got a weird environment, really weird environment, as we'll see here, but it's not its not hazardous, uh, at least not as far as I can tell, anyway. So let's go ahead and land right here. I still need uh, a little bit more carbon and some more, a few more other things, too. Um, so now that we have, well, let me show you what's going on here. Now that we have all of this cargo space in our exosuit. What I'm basically doing is trying to have a full stack of, you know, of all the minerals and all the supplies and stuff that we need. So we've got a full stack of oxygen, full stack of sodium. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, work on sodium nitrate. We've got a full thing of cobalt. We've got to work on some more ionized, which I'll probably get from a cave. Uh, working on dye high. Uh, pretty much have a full stack of ferrite. I use a little bit of that. Full stack pure almost a full stack of magnetizing. We've got magnetized ferrite deposits on this planet. We're doing good on chromatic. I'm not re really too worried about silicon powder. And so on and so forth. we got to go get some more emerald too uh, in order to build our indium drive. So, yeah. Uh, what I'm also going to be doing too is collect... I'm going to start hanging on to convergence cubes and Corvax casings and uh, Viking daggers and all that kind of stuff and just keep them in here so I have them you know when I need them for talking to dudes uh, But what we're about right now is we're down here uh, to get a full stack of dihydrogen a full stack um, and then some of condensed Carbon because I need that uh, to make the antimatter and uh, we're also going to do our our little missions here um that we need to do. So let's go ahead and get started by first I'm going to put a save beacon down and we're going to also put down uh, one of these and I got this started with uh, condensed carbon but we're just going to keep feeding carbon into it as we farm it. So before we get started let me show you what's going on with our missions. So if we go into the log here I have picked up a bunch of missions as we went along in you know made our billion coin our billion units and they're basically one of three they're either kill animals they are kill sentinels or they are scan minerals and all of these will give me a certain number of nanites when I complete them and the cool thing about this is if I have say like 10 missions to kill you know nine sentinels I can kill nine sentinels and satisfy all of them and go turn them all in at the same time, which is really cool. So this is going to get us a whole bunch of nanites. We have 26 right now, 26, uh, 20 rather, right now, but uh, we, we need a lot more than that uh, to get what we need. So, that being the case, uh, we're going to go around and start scanning minerals. We're going to start blowing up sentinels. This is not a good planet to kill animals on. And there it is right there. So that is an asymmetric, unafraid, it eats small trees, it never blinks. <laughs> that is just bizarre. So when you look at this planet... That is just weird, man. Uh, if, if you look at the description of this planet, it says that it's... Uh, or moon, rather. Uh, it doesn't... It doesn't say it in here, but when you land on this, when you first land on it, it tells you that the border, or the boundary, is failing. I don't know what boundary we're talking about. It might be like a, a the boundary of reality, perhaps, or something? I'm not sure. Really weird, though. But what we're going to do is we're going to stay somewhat close to the ship, and we're going to go around and, you know, farm up the carbon and the dihydrogen. Uh, we're going to go over and hit those floating crystals, and, um and start scanning stuff, okay? 
So hopefully we can fulfill the kill sentinels and the scan minerals part of the quest on this planet before we leave. So let's go ahead and start scanning minerals. Okay, so that gives cobalt and silver. Nice, okay. Uh, what about this thing? Unidentified mineral floating in the air. Alright, that's ferrite dust and carbon. Both of which we need. Uh, let's go ahead and get the condensed carbon, because that's actually one of the things we're after. Sooner or later, we're going to get the attention of a sentinel, and when we do, we're going to start uh, blowing them dudes up. Now, this thing is called an electric cube. I don't... If we pick it up... Okay, if we pick it up, um, it said something about... You know, looking at it in our catalog. But I can't find it in here. I would think it would be a curiosity, right? But there's nothing... It does show up. Oh, yeah, there it is. It is a construction part. Okay. A rare st stabilized glitch retrieved from a malfunctioning planet. Safe for rehousing in habitable bases. Based upon what I'm looking at here, though, I'm going to guess that's a decoration and not an actual something we can, you know, use as a resource. Uh, which is cool, though. I mean, who would want to have a base with a an electric cube floating around in your living room, right? Okay. Uh, so this is a mineral. Doesn't look like one, but it says it is. Okay. I think we... Yeah, okay, we just completed the... One of those Scan the Minerals quests. Now, the thing about that, though, is that I think I might have had some quests that wanted me to scan more than just that number. Let's take a quick look here. Um... Let's see, creature experimentation. I got so many of these that are stacked up in here. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, so these are all kill kill the critters quests. Creature eliminate creature sentinels. Sentinels. Track and scan planetary flora. Okay, so this is actually one for plants. Uh Okay, so no, there is there is more mineral ones. Um, hmm. I don't think I have to have these activated when I do them. It would suggest, though, that I haven't done it yet. So maybe I do have to scan that many different minerals to satisfy all of them. I was under the impression that you didn't have to do that. Well, that's weird. Okay, well, let's, uh, see, that said systematic holograms is completed. So, are you gonna, is that, oh, uh, okay, yeah, so I think it, I think it did apply to all of them. Good, 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 good. Rediscovered minerals. Because it looks to me like it's, it's cycling through. Let's make, see if it does not one more time, and then we'll be pretty sure that that's what's going on with that. Rediscovered discoveries. Is it gonna, data rich samples. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what the deal is with that. Okay, good. Um, that's gonna be another electric cube. Okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna at some point I'm going to reinstall the uh, the big advanced scanner thing that gives me a whole bunch of money for scanning stuff. Uh, I just had that on my other multi tool. And that's one of the many things on our to-do list. So we don't necessarily need to do minerals anymore. I mean, we can, but... Uh, these things are, are plants, believe it or not. Little kaleidoscope plants. See, the thing, the thing about... And I've, I've, I've thought about this before, okay? I'm, I'm gonna... I'm going to uh, philosophize here for a second, okay? <laughs> um, the thing about our universe, right, is we have we have physical laws that apply to our universe. But we're not in the Milky Way. Uh, well, uh, we're... 
the, uh, what am I trying to say? Okay, so we're the Milky Way is a galaxy, right? I don't I don't want to get in combat while I'm trying to philosophize here and I'm doing a terrible job of it too. So the Milky Way is a galaxy, and then uh, the Euclid Galaxy, where we're at right now, is a galaxy, right? And it's possible that uh, galaxies could have you know different physical laws, maybe. Um, but if not that. I, I think it's very possible that there are, uh, that, that there could be like, you know, parallel universes or, or a multiverse. And in other universes, that there could be different physical laws that don't, what the hell am I doing? I'm trying to recharge my, my doohickey here. Here, there we go. <laughs> um, you know, they could have different physical laws in, you know, the Euclid galaxy maybe isn't in the same universe that the Milky Way galaxy is in. And so, you know, this could be normal, normal stuff. Well, I don't know if I call it normal, but, you know, possible stuff in a different universe with different physical laws. That's all, that's what I'm trying to say. So, anyway, okay, enough philosophizing. <laughs> um, we do have... We do have that sentinel there. I kind of don't want to be super far away from the ship, though, when we start fighting those guys. And I'm going to stop doing the die high once we have a full stack. I'm surprised he hasn't come over here yet. There, there he is. Wasn't me, man. <laughs> uh, okay, let's look at our inventory here. Exosuit. Uh, we've got a bunch of fragments that we can pop open. Where is the dihydrogen? Right here. Okay, so we have 273 so far. Let's pop these fragments. I also need some, um... Some more deuterium, too. I need 100 more, as a matter of fact, to make one of my upgrades. And that brings up another thing that I wanted to discuss with you guys. I I had was thinking about, uh, you know, maybe not doing the um, the 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 planet side base building for a while. But it occurred to me that I really need to go through that, or at least part of it, uh, to make some really important stuff. Like, for example, the regular sized or large refiner. Um, and I don't think I can get that until I go through those quests. And I really need that refiner because then I can use it to make deuterium and other other higher level stuff that I can't just make, you know, with the portable refiner. So we might uh, we might actually end up doing that, but we're not going to do it on this weird ass planet. We're going to find a nice planet uh, to to build a base on. Uh, I have come across a couple of paradise planets. One of them I did, in fact, mark um, that we could go back and take a look at. I didn't look at it super close, um, so I wasn't like absolutely enamored of it, you know, but um, we could go back there and take a look and see you know, see what, what's going on with it anyway. Okay, so let's see, let's continue getting carbon because I need to make a big old batch of warp drive fuel and then after we make that big old batch of warp drive fuel, I want to have a full stack of condensed carbon and carbon in my inventory. So, we've got a couple of floating crystals here. What are they? Tetra Cobalt. Nice. We'll take that. Because we can turn that into ionized Cobalt, and I want to have a stack of that in my inventory. And that's a, a carbon crystal. Okay, good. That's going to give us a bunch of... I think that's going to give us a bunch of condensed carbon. Oh, it gives us a carbon crystal. Can we break that thing down? Um, no, that's not a breakdown item. Okay, I do have a couple of those on the uh, ship, though. So let's look at this for a second. This is just really bizarre. This is why I want to name this Kaleidoscope Fractal Poltergeist Planet. <laughs> that's what we'll do. It's kaleidoscope slash fractal slash poltergeist planet. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Let's move. Keep moving back towards our ship. I think we are. Oh, ooh, our ship's over that way. Okay. I thought it was over this way. I'm not even paying attention to where the hell I'm at. 
This would be a weird place to get lost on, wouldn't it? In the kaleidoscope fractal poltergeist planet. Oh. Okay. Should we start mixing it up with those guys? We've scanned that. Is that another one of them electric cube doohickeys? Yeah. We might as well grab a couple more of those. Decorations for the base later. Oh, look at this. We got something down here, you guys. Uh, this is like a, a ruin type of place. Let's check this out. What the hell is that? Hexaberry. All right, that's weird. There's probably Gravitino balls here. Ooh, what's that stuff? We, we'll need to go look at the, that stuff over there. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is one of those places that has the... Uh, the chest that we have to open up. So, I think it's this one down here. Yeah, large artifact. Great. All right, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? All right, we're here. We'll get something valuable out of it. So we need to get our terrain manipulator out. Okay, now we got to go over to there. And I think... We might be able to just burrow right on through here to get to that one. Okay, where is that? It's right up here. Uh, looks like we're underneath the structure that houses it. Alright, pop that out. Get up in this little pocket here. There we go. Okay, we only need to we only need to grab three of those. What the hell was all that noise? Oh, life support. Probably a good thing we're underground, huh? Okay. I I haven't done these enough yet to figure out the best entry point, but it, and let's try and remember this for next time. So this one we can get to by going down because they're all the same. What the hell is that? That's weird. Uh, yeah, they're all they're all the same structure. I know we can get to one going down this ramp. So it kind of dog legs off to the right here. And we just need one more key. So it looks like there's one, a uh, couple down here. Let's grab. Let's go after this one here. We'll mark it. Okay, let's go see what we get. Turn our light on. I need a hotkey for that thing. I mean, it looks like I probably could quick bind something, but the problem is I can't really use the keyboard very well in VR because I can't see the damn thing. And by the time I fumbled around with it, trying to uh, do it, uh, I could have just done it from here. Okay, what do we get? We got a f we got fragile bark worth uh, 100. Let's read it. Approximately 1,014 years old, the sample looks unnaturally clean, as if all other life that came into contact with it has been burned away. That's, uh, that's a little scary. All right, how much does our fragile bark work, work, worth? 625,000. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad. All right, I'm not going to grab the Gravitino balls because that's just going to cause us all kinds of trouble, but we are going to go up here. To this cave because it looks like there's some more stuff up here. Okay, are these minerals? Yes, they are. Yes, 
Yeah, there's a lot of interesting things over here. Are those humming eggs or are those... Yeah, those are humming sacks, okay. Not really... I mean, those are good early game money, but... I don't really want to mess with humming sacks. Uh, right now. There we go. So we, what, what we're after actually right now is plants. It's interesting too that this cave here has actual plant types of plants instead of kaleidoscope fractal poltergeist types of plants. Wow, that's a big old cave down in there. Uh, okay. I don't think we can scan those, can we? No. Pulpy roots. Looks like most everything else down in here is just going to be a mineral. Let's scan that thing. Wooberzite. That's an interesting looking thing right there. Ursonite. Okay, well, we're sort of kind of wasting time here doing minerals right now. We need to get going. Man, that is a cool looking cave though, I have to say. That is a cool looking cave. What is, what is this stuff here? Just out of curiosity. Ferric dust and oxygen. Okay. Uh, right. Cool. All right. Let's head on back out of here. Okay. Let's do a manual save. And let's hop into here and reload that. And then we'll put carbon in there. And get it cooking. Okay, now it's time, guys, for us to start fighting some sentinels. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into here. And in our starship, we... Sh did I put the transfer? Okay, yeah, so we've got ammo right there. So we should be good to go on that. All right, let's mix it up with this guy. Okay, so that should call in a couple more. We'll just stay close to the ship in case. Uh, where are they? Oh, there they are. Okay. Okay, let's switch this to the shoddy. Reload. Okay, we'll switch to the mining beam because it harvests those really fast. Uh, the other one like rolled way the hell down the hill. Okay, that's right. I'm going to stay close to the ship. Anyway, okay, let's do a, a quick reload here. Okay, we've got to... One of them guys showing up. Okay, we need to uh, hop in the ship quick. <laughs> I don't, I don't have any upgrades on my suit yet, you know, for health and shield and all that. Let's see if we can, uh, uh where are they? <laughs> we'll show them what for. All right. I don't know if shooting them in the ship counts towards the quest. It's really hard to do because I can't get the ship to hold still. And that thing overheats quick. 
Here, let's try the the shotgun thingy. Oh, well, that did some damage on him. That did some damage on him. Whoa! Easy there, old guy. Easy. Alright. Oh, yeah, we got him. Nice. <laughs> okay. So now they're looking around for us. I don't know if I don't know if the ship shotgun can take out the little guys or not. Yeah, I think they're they're probably too small to hit, would be my guess. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit those with this. I wish there was a like a hover mode on these ships. Probably the reason there isn't, so you can't, like, cheese these. Okay, let's flip around here. It's going to be extremely hard for me to hit one of those in, the, in here. Oh, we did get one shot off on him. Those are oxygen plants. Yeah, this, this doesn't really work for the little guys. Uh, so let's land. And we'll take those guys out with the gun, and then when another big one shows up, we'll do the same thing in the ship again. Okay, so I think we are done with that first little combat mission. I saw a sentinel floating around here somewhere. Unless he despawned when I landed, I don't know. Alright guys, well, I think uh, I think that's going to probably wrap up this episode here. So, uh, we, we went a little bit longer, but that's okay. I think we had had fun, saw some really cool stuff in this episode. I'll try and edit, edit it down so it's not too terribly long. But anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Come and hang out with us on Discord. Come and hang out with me on a live stream. I do live stream several times a week on Twitch. So you can find the links to both of those places in the About section of the YouTube channel. Uh, we will see you in the next episode. Take care, guys. Bye.